Welcome to my SU News Channel. The family featured in the Hollywood blockbuster The Blind Side fired back Monday at XNFler Michael Ohire's claims they swindled him, calling the allegations insulting and hurtful. Ohire, 37, filed a lawsuit in Shelby County, Tennessee, court Monday saying he only recently learned he wasn't officially adopted by Sean and Lee and Tui and that he was instead duped into a conservatorship, which allowed the family to rake in millions of dollars in royalties from the movie about his life. But Sean Tui told the Daily Memphian that the claims have devastated the family. Tui said the conservatorship was drawn up to ensure that O'Hare was eligible to play football at the University of Mississippi. Tui is a booster at the school, and if O'Hare wasn't part of the family, there could have been potential NCAA issues sending him there, Tui suggested. I sat Michael down and told him, if you're planning to go to Ole Miss or even considering Ole Miss, we think you have to be part of the family. This would do that legally, Tui said. We contacted lawyers who had told us that we couldn't adopt over the age of 18, the only thing we could do was to have a conservatorship. We were so concerned it was on the up and up that we made sure the biological mother came to court. Tui also dismissed the idea that the family profited handsomely from the movie. We didn't make any money off the movie, Tui said. Well, Michael Lewis, the author of the book on which the movie was based, gave us half of his share. Everybody in the family got an equal share, including Michael. It was about $14,000 each. Tui sold his conglomerate of fast food franchises for $200 million and took a front to the idea that he would want to profit off of O'Hare. I will say it's upsetting that people would think I would want to make money off any of my children, he said. He said the family had remained close with O'Hare throughout much of his NFL career but noticed distance building about a year and a half ago. No question, the allegations are insulting, Tui said of the suit. But look, it's a crazy world. You've got to live in it. It's obviously upset everybody. Tui's son, Sean Tui Jr., also told his side of the story in an interview with Barstool Radio on Monday. I'm gonna preface this by saying that I love Mike at 16, I love Mike at 37, and I, will, love him at 67, Tui Jr. said of O'Hare. There's not going to be any dossier or thing that happens that is going to make me say, screw that guy. That's not the case, Tui Jr. said. But Tui Jr. disputed the idea that O'Hire just learned about the conservatorship in February of 2023. If he says he found out in February, I find that hard to believe, he said. I went through my family group texts today to see what had been said. There were things in like 2020 or 2021 that said, if you guys give me this much, then I won't go public with things. I think everybody learned about conservatorship in the past year because of Britney Spears, so maybe that's the case, Tui Jr. said. Tui Jr. acknowledged O'Hire's frustration over not getting paid out more for the blind side but added that he didn't make much money from the movie, either, estimating he personally has received about $60,000 to $70,000 in royalties over the years. You're not gonna hear me talk bad about him because I truthfully think very highly of everything, about his NFL career and how he has raised a family, Tui Jr. said of O'Hare. He said he has great memories of O'Hare, including the former football star buying him his first car, a Dodge Challenger, and going to college in Baltimore to be close to O'Hare, who was playing for the Ravens at the time. O'Hare's suit claimed that he had no familial status with the Tuis in the conservatorship. Source, nypost.com. Please like, share and subscribe. Thank you for watching.